ladies and gentlemen, welcome our friend and yours, our homie, Von the Country Singer! What's up, bro? How you doing? Okay. Oh, you know, just hanging in there. All right, man. Uh, yeah, man. Do you want to go? Excited to be on the show. Yeah, we're excited to have you, bro. All right, do you want to go by Violent J, the country singer? I mean, you know, my name's Sharif. I'm, you know, I'm not Violent J, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I, I would like to be a country singer, but um, that hasn't happened yet. So, Bro, I wonder, well, you know, we might as well, you are the character, Violent J, the country singer, whether you like it or not. You've been a staple of our show for a long time. Um, we, we mention uh, your like name every episode. now. Yeah, man, uh, you're you're part of the Deck One Delt lore. All right, yeah. that's cool, man. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. you know you're part of the lore. We got the country, go out, violent to the country singer in the house. Fuck yeah, yeah I, man. You know, I I love this show in my life. You know, hell yeah, I've been dude. Listening to the show for I don't know almost a year, but that I heard your uh, yum yum bedlam review. Okay, and I was just looking for good reviews online because I wanted to like listen to hear people talk about this album. Um. And I liked your review. I didn't agree with everything. Sure. But I was like, these guys, like, I, I, I get it. That's what's up, bro. Bro, you found your people. Yeah. And you actually, you got like, we did like three shows for that album, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. It was like the second one or something. Yeah, know. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I wanted to get you on. You were, you were set on coming on when we finally were going to do an Esham album. Yeah, well, you know, well, now you, you needed somebody tonight, so I figured <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Well, we appreciate you jumping well, in. Well, man. man, please come back for the Esham album when we get there. Yes, I told Absolutely. him. I said, dude, we'll definitely if we do one, I'm gonna pick Closed Casket. So I, I said, mean, when we do that, you're in. Of course, that's a classic to go to. So, yep. you, so you obviously having a uh, uh, a love for Esham. Yeah, that's how I got into ICP. Um, I kind of got into ICP and Esham like at the same time. I heard Esham on a cool Keith album called Spank Master. <laughs> and Esham just said like the craziest shit. It was like, um, you ever heard the song Pussy Ain't Got No Face? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, he kind of like went on that kind of trip on this song. He was like, uh, I take him flying cri crippled and crazy, ugly or pretty. I beat it up, make the pussy me out like a kitty. And I was like, <laughs> who is this guy? And I was like, oh, he's from Detroit, like Eminem. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> and uh and then the first Emma Isham album I got um had Violent J on it. And like I, I'd always heard about ICP and I saw like ICP in record stores or I would see it on uh t shirts when I was in middle school. Okay. And there was like a couple of bad kids who would have like ICP shirts on and one of them like wore the same shirt every day. It was either <laughs> Riddlebox or Malenko. No, of course. And like I, I didn't associate with those kids, but one of those kids, like he noticed one day he was, he was like looking at me and my friends and my friends were like in the gifted class. I was in the gifted class with them, but then we were playing together with these, you know, scrubby kids and he, and he got pissed off at it. It's like, you, you all are preps. And they looked at me, except for you, you're a, you're a scuzz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Interesting. I'm like, I'll take that as a compliment. A scuzz. Yeah, I was like, what? What does that mean? But I get what he means now. Like, uh, <laughs> like my clothes didn't look all that cool. Oh, okay. So, um, so where are you from? Um, I'm from New York City, but I I grew up in Ohio. Oh, okay. That's in West up. Virginia and uh, around that area too. Where oh, you stay wow. at these days? I'm in New York City again. I mean, when I got into ICP, I was in high school, living in New York City. Okay. Um. Yeah. I didn't have any friends that were in ICP. Yeah. Um, so so New yeah, York was, so New York City is where you're originally from. Yeah. Okay. So talk, talking to you, I've noticed you have a lot of hip hop knowledge. Hip, you know, you seem to understand a lot about underground hip hop and like classic hip hop and stuff like that. So I would assume, I would assume being from New York and the East Coast has a lot to do with that. Really, I just got into I got into hip-hop music through just cool keith really um and i was into more experimental music i'm like avant-garde weirdo like devo hmm. primus um the residents have you ever heard of them hmm. i was in a lot of like i've heard of primus you know, weird, definitely weird crazy music ween i didn't listen to ween back then but i would have liked it so i was you know i was into more like uh that kind of music i wasn't into rap yet and so cool keith was like the alternative rap guy uh, hmm. I know. Then I, when I heard I, Violent J, I was like, "What the? F <laughs> Yo, 
you ever have you heard the song Panic Attack with Eshan? Um, yes, that's that's on his Tongues album, right? Yeah, yeah, with a big wooden spoon, and he's like jerking off in the bushes, and the possum staring at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like that's ICP. <laughs> so that, like, wait, so that was like, this is what all these idiots are like listening to. This is crazy. That's like, what all I love these it. idiots are. Listening. So that was like your introduction to ICP. Yeah, and then I and then I listened to Malenko, and you know, honestly, I was reading a lot of reviews back then. So I, by that time, it was two thousand and three. And their Wraith album had come out. Um, so I knew that the surprise at the end. So like listening to Malenko, it was like, oh, it was already there. Hmm. You know, I feel the that. whole uh, heaven and hell thing. Dude, that, so, I mean, this is a very unique story. So yeah. I, you don't meet a lot of people who get into ICP through Isham. Right. And I mean, I, I'm sure that has happened, especially in Detroit in the early days. Right. But like, that's a very unique, you know, r- a way to, you know, backdoor into ICP is actually through like some of the, you know, the actual inspiration. Yeah, that is interesting. So I have to ask, are, were you familiar with like, I, I don't know how much Mikey Clark had worked with Isham like back in those days. So uh, I'm just curious if you were familiar with any of his work or even who he was like while listening to Isham. I, no, I mean, like. I, I got my my first Eshawn Islands basically the same time I got my ICP album. Okay, you know, and like each ICP album ended up having Eshawn. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, I got Bizarre Bizarre for sale. Like I got two for one, two for the price of one, and um, I listened to Bizarre, the track Bizarre, and it's like it's Eshawn motherfucker. I'm like, oh, what? Eshawn's on <laughs> this, on the f- and then I got oh, Carnival a- Carnage. And Ishan was on that too. Yeah. I was like, oh, he did the beats too. I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. Yeah. But I was like, as soon as I as soon as I heard Violent J, I started getting to ICP too. So I it was basically like I don't know a month apart. I okay. liked Ishan for a month, and I then I got an okay. That's interesting. But you heard Ishan through you said a cool Keith. Was it a cool Keith track? Through cool Keith, yeah. You heard you, Ishan yeah. through cool Keith, and then. From there went to ICP. That's crazy. Are you familiar with Cool Keith? Yeah, you are. I've n- I've never yeah. fucked with Cool Keith. I don't. Know I, I'm. Not, I would. I mean, I'm definitely not very familiar, but I know who he is, and he's definitely he spits and he's an insane lyricist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've I've heard his name a lot to know he's like a legend, you yeah. know. But I've never really. I. I my my hip hop knowledge is pretty shitty. I'll be quite frank. Like I didn't listen to shit hip hop until ICP. Really. Like, yeah. And I still really never fucked with much hip hop. It was always. He says. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like Cool Keith says like really off the wall stuff. That's his thing. Like he'll he'll say like really surreal things hmm. and you'll just have to laugh because it's crazy. Yeah. But even his structure, the way he flows is insane. Like I like he's he's pretty sick, man. He was I, he was I, like yeah. mainly early nineties guy, right? Yeah, I would say or like nineties to early two thousands was okay. was his run. What am I am I am I wrong or correct in that, Violent J the country singer? He... He did, he uh, he was in Ultramagnetic MCs in the '80s, and then in the early '90s he started doing like more solo stuff. And he did uh, Doctor Octagon, mm, okay. which made him real famous in the underground, and that was like one of the biggest horrorcore albums. And then oh, he got yeah, that was the one because he didn't want it. I remember you talking. Yeah, about he didn't it. want to be seen as the horror car guy, so he started like making porno music. And, <laughs> Uh, you, you were talking in the Discord. You, you told me that there was the Doctor Octagon. Was that the album? Or uh, refresh my memory. You That's posted not the something. one I sent. Okay. I, I think I, I recommended Masters of Illusion, yes. which is just a great album. That was it. Um, I listened to some of that, and that was that was Cool Keith on that. Cool Keith and Motion Man, and the producer is Cutmaster Kurt. Okay, yeah, that shit was dope. Incredible. Like I was listening to that and bopping it and enjoying it for sure. So I'll have to go back and revisit that, man. Like uh, I'm always up to try some. Uh, bona fide dope shit, especially at the um, recommendation of someone cool like yourself. Um, so you made the fucking uh, Dark Lofus song, right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the the that give me that great, the man. give me that bread song where he he emulated all the voices and everything. Yeah, I mean that that was that was pure <laughs> skill, man. Right I can't there. remember that, what that, episode we played skill. that on, but just to be able to do that, there, there's a lot of skill sets I hear in that, you know. Yeah, man, that's the shit. You're a good writer, sincerely. Thanks, man. Yeah, for well, sure. Well, I, I was hanging out in Discord, and um, this one juggalo who hangs out on Discord, Shoeless Joe, um, was he, he does this thing where he goes, 
you know, one day he, he said, bread, bread, the side of excites me. I'm such a mess. Buttery, excuse me. I spend all day writing rye on the wall. I just lost it. I was like, dude, you know, I got to do the whole song. Now, right? You just took it. The like, yeah, next go step. For it. Yeah. But he just takes words and he's like, you know, cake, cake, the side of it decides me. Or, you know. Oh, shit. That's so funny. Yeah, that, yeah. Man, that was great, man. I, I, I hope you uh, make another one. I mean, I would love to, I would love to see you go the extra mile and make a whole Tales from the Lotus uh I can't think of a funny bread pun that rhymes with pod, but tell us from the Lotus Pod, uh, uh, bread album, man, or food album. Oh, uh, maybe, you know, <laughs> that's a big undertaking. I know. Yeah. Especially for like a food album. It's <laughs> a parody have you, of dark Lotus. Like it only a hundred people are going to think is funny. <laughs> have you done any other, um, like, uh, anything else like, uh, creative in that realm that, uh, or was that the first kind of, uh, writing you really put out there? Um, you know, I used to be uh, on the Eshams website back in the day, and I did a couple of like par- parody songs of Esham songs. Okay, cool. But I didn't like record anything like that. You just wrote them. Yeah, okay. I had somebody try and record them on like this shitty beat, and he sounded awful. I was like, don't do that with those lyrics. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, it takes work to parody something. I mean, to even want to parody something <laughs> takes a lot of effort. You know, yeah. to to even do that, and to actually like you know make it clever, be, be clever with it. Yeah, it's it, it yeah, it's not easy shit. Yeah, I mean that's I, why there's only I one weird just out. Did it like in, I actually just did it like in between calls on my on my job. <laughs> you know, I had a customer service job, and like in between actual calls, I was just doing that on my phone. Like that's awesome. Just taking the real lyrics and putting something funny instead. Yeah, that's funny, man. Uh, uh, so how how old are you, uh, Sharif? Anyway, how old are you? Uh, almost thirty six now. Okay, you're you're in our wheelhouse. Um, just curious. I, I always like to know. Like, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, we can hear you. Sorry if there's a delay. I don't know what's going on. Looks like I froze. Uh, yep. Looks like you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We can hear you. you can still can you hear me now. Yeah, we can hear you. We can still hear you. Oh. By the way, side note: twisted officials in the chat. Oh, what's up, Twisted? I think no, that was the fake one. They 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 were talking shit the one time, like uh, uh, we we said something about Twisted. It's Twisted official, dude. Oh yeah, you're right. My bad. Twisted official. God. Hey, we're about to review Cryptic Collection too. Stick that's around. Why, I mean, that's why they're here. J, uh, Jamie, Paul, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> it's that Twisted official is both Jamie and Paul yes. on the, on one computer. They're like huddled around like a laptop, <laughs> yes. like somewhere in a room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, listening to Deck One Dell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! So what's your, uh, I mean, what's your shit with ICP, man? Do you have, I mean, do you have like a favorite album? Do you have a concert, a memory, any type of gathering, type of memory that you're? Oh, I, I got to meet ICP outside the Howard Stern show um, with a bunch of other juggalos back in 2003, right in the interview where they were uh, like uh, selected the worst band in the world by by that one magazine yeah i remember that 2003 outside out of see that's a that's a fucking hell of a memory that's sweet man tell us more what happened how, how did that go um i i pretty much you know people were were you know all crowded around violent j and um i had a copy of the race shangri-la and he signed it and i said i love the album he just kind of looked at me and handed the uh the cd back he probably smiled or something i don't know yeah shaggy was like a lot easier to talk to um he i got this feeling from him like he didn't look down at me at all Hmm. um which i thought was kind of weird talking to like a real famous person i felt like he could have been talking to the president just me standing there yeah and uh i've seen him in other public events too and he he has like this uh he has a real good presence around people is the impression i got of him he seems pretty humble so yeah, I will say though there was the one time that we um, after an ICP concert like uh, we did we did that shit. It was, I was very young for what it's worth, literally literally teenager. But we followed their tour bus back to the hotel and uh, just just wanting to catch a glimpse of the clowns. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Maybe shake their hand. Maybe they'll talk to us. We followed them back to the hotel and uh, they they got out of the bus and they were wearing their wrestling masks and uh, we ran up to them like. Oh, Violet J, you know, whatever, whatever. They they each like shook our like gave us a dap or whatever. But Shaggy was like not having it. He was like bouncing, mm-hmm. you know, the fuck out of there. Jay like 
get, at least stuck around to give us a dap, but like was never stopped walking. Yeah. But um, it was just interesting, like the 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 different yeah. version version. Of, that was my first impression of like, okay, Shaggy doesn't want to be fucked with. Like yeah. noted, you know. We the, the, gotta realize these guys are people, and like you know, it's it's going to be different every time you see them. Yeah, that's true. You know, you're never going to have a, you know, they're not they're not they're not, they're not paid to go out there and put on a fucking fake. Person, you know, they're not those type of people. They're yeah. not those type of celebrities. Well, I'm happy to know that like they were cool as fuck that day and like humble and um, hung out with you and shit. Were there were there a lot of jugglers there? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was at least uh, 20, 20 jugglers. I'd say. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. That's an interesting. Uh, that's a pretty unique one. Like hanging out outside Howard Stern, you know, to, to yeah. catch a glimpse of ICP. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I know they um, that that had to be right. I don't know. I was gonna say. I remember when Sharon Osbourne was on and went talking shit to him. That was before Bizarre Bizarre had come out because she she yeah. that was the album. She said if they sold X amount, yeah, she would donate or whatever. But anyways, infamous story. Yeah, I don't know if uh, they probably don't even. Howard probably doesn't even fuck with them anymore. Probably not. Hmm. So what do you do? What do you do in New York, man? Like as far as uh, Juggalo shit. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I don't do anything Juggalo related here. Okay. Um. Hmm, all right. Yeah, I wish I I wish I knew some juggalos here. Yeah, New York um, juggalos, come on, man, where the fuck y'all at? No more, no more juggalos. Yeah. You no really more. are probably the first juggalo I've ever met from New York. No joke. <laughs> Have you ever met a juggalo from New York? <laughs> we met that kid at the gathering. Didn't he say he was from New? Oh no, he said he was from Cincinnati and he he was living in New York. Oh. Remember that kid we saw in the parking lot? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, huh, man. Interesting. No, um, but other than that, no, not really. Do you do any... Uh, so, like, you're in, like, New York City, like, proper. Like, I don't know, like, all the cool New York, like, lingo and shit. I apologize. I don't know the boroughs and shit like that. But, like, what what kind of uh, living situation are you in in New York? <laughs> I mean, um, really, this is the same apartment that I grew up in. Okay. Um, this, is in this is in uptown Manhattan. This is not the good neighborhood. Okay. Um, it's a lot better than it used to be because of gentrification, but yeah. Okay. Do you, um, do you follow any like podcasts or, uh, comedy guys or anything out there? I listen to a lot of New York com- comedy. That's why I'm asking that. Oh no. I mean, I should, I should get into that. Mm, okay. Okay. I, um, there a lot of New York comedy. Like there's a guy named uh, big J Okerson. You ever heard of him? No, no. All right, he's from New York. He's he's the shit. I'm seeing him ne- uh, next weekend. He's coming here, but nevertheless, he's like, he's from New York. They do a co- podcast called Legion of Skanks, which is just them. They sit in a bar and just like make racist jokes and like talk shit and like. But it's the funniest people in the world doing it, so it's fucking great. You know I watch I, mean? I watch some funny people from New York. Uh, Tyler Fisher, I, I watch him. I like him. All right, I'm not familiar with that. He's funny, so yeah. he's a comedian. Yeah. Okay. Dope. All right. Well, whatever. I just I wanted to tr- try to um, find some kind of um, common ground in New York there with you, uh, Sharif. But no luck. <laughs> I've I've been to New York once. Yeah. I once. went to New York City one time. We went to go do cable there after like whatever hurricane. We yeah. were gonna do cable like to help fix shit up, but it fell through. We came back like three days later. But I did get sick while I was there and got to puke on a uh, busy New York City street. So that was cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that story. <laughs> thanks, asshole. Thanks for ruining it. <laughs> that was, that's literally my. I mean, I, 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 I puke on the sidewalk too. It's cool. <laughs> so that's just fucking Wednesday for Sharif. Okay. Sure. <laughs> um, Justin Manny said I he legit met Big J. He looks exactly like Violent J in person. He is like kind of a big, like spiky hair guy. People actually have like he made he's made a couple jokes about people compare him to Violent J and shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny. But uh, that's cool, man. Um, Do you, uh, so, I mean, have you been to any shows out there or have you traveled to any shows or anything? There was, there was one show in 2004, the Black Lotus Tour, mm-hmm. where the, the, the Black Rain, Dark Lotus mm. Tour. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yep. That was a show that I went to. Um, but after, after I went to college, um, I didn't pay as much attention to that. I was into a lot of other music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I kind of fell off the same time a lot of other people fell off around the Tempest era. Mm-hmm. And uh, every time a new ICP album came out after that, I would listen to it and then I would just wait for the next one. Mm-hmm. You know, like I didn't I wasn't listening to Juggalo shit every day, though. I remember there was a lot of hype for the Twisted Wicked album. Mm-hmm. And I went on a little. Little Juggalo. Uh, thing. 
for a few months there. But I, I think I'm back now. The last couple of ICP albums are great, and I realize how much great music I've missed over the years. Yeah, man. Um, like, I just put it all on a playlist, and between the Esham and uh, the ICP and all the other psychopathic artists out there and uh, a few other artists I didn't even know about, you know, I've got, like, years worth of music to catch up with and it's it's fun hell yeah well, i listen to this stuff every day now now you, you know? get that you get to walk along with us while we rediscover yeah. some of this shit too man yeah yeah. I'm, yeah i'm glad glad you're bored with us too man because you know we're going through the same thing yep. yeah it's a nice little uh fucking like rena- icp renaissance that that we're we're living through right now it's kind of fun I, yeah. I hope so the new stuff's real good i know man it, it is um, so that's the only show you went to? They don't do they just not come to fucking I know weren't they banned or some shit for a while? Man, so one time I was living in Columbus. Oh, cool. And <laughs> my boss said he found a ICP ticket on the ground. This was like 2017. Okay. He said he found it on the sidewalk and I was like, Oh man, like I'll pay you for that ticket. I just I, I should go. Like I love ICP and like my boss didn't even like ICP. <laughs> He just wanted to experience it. So he ends up going and then like leaving after 15 minutes because he felt like it wasn't his thing. Oh, man. What a fucking fool. Fuck. What uh, a bitch. Wait, what were you in Columbus for? Oh, uh, just living there. Why? Why were you here? <laughs> I, I had a friend there and, okay. uh, you know, I needed, uh, you know, I, I felt like getting out of the city. So you, and so it I sounds went like down there for a while. It sounds like you've done that a few times. Just like fuck it, man. I'm just gonna go get get the fuck out of New York, and then you just it just sucks you back in. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hey, man. If you ever if you ever feel obliged, man, Columbus is a good city. If you ever want to plant some roots here, I I think about that place all the time. It's nice and flat, you know. Yeah. And. uh it's very flat. People drive crazy, though. I don't like that part, and it's pretty dangerous. That is true. I well, mean, uh, I mean, you know, I've been driving here for a long time, and I, yeah, I've, I've done good, man. I've done good <laughs> for myself. So. There, there are some. You know, I almost got hit by a car walking down the sidewalk in Columbus. <laughs> yeah, that's a little sketch. Not kidding you. <laughs> it is a little different. I mean, living in the city, living in New York City, I, I guess I could imagine the traffic's a lot. I mean, it's a whole other world hmm. than actually coming to like you know. A city like Columbus, so I can I can see that. Hmm. There are some very aggressive drivers out here. Yeah, not going to lie on that one. Well, uh, so before we let you go, I do want to ask, what's your opinion on Twisted I- uh, these days? Um, I always like what I hear from Twisted. You know, I you know I came back and I think they're better than they're ever they've ever been. You know, I haven't been keeping up with them like ICP. Like ICP will release the album. I will listen to it every every time. Mm. Twisted, I don't really care. And to be honest, I don't feel like their music changes that much. Yeah. They're consistent. They're really good. Um, I, I listened to the what, Unlikely Prescription. I thought it was great. Okay. Um, so, I guess I don't feel as much of a connection to it. You're just still like, you're still like on board with Twisted. Like, yeah, fuck it. They're cool. I, I love Blaze and ABK. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, yeah. But I guess I, yeah, you, I love all of them. I guess you just don't get much of a surprise from Twisted because they are so consistent. Yeah, like you know yeah. what you're getting when yeah. you buy a fucking Twisted album these days. You know, so yeah. I mean, you're, I do agree. Like they they put out a consistent, decent product that is getting the job done. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah, I they're incredible at what they do. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't have any hate. And for they them they are, they get better too. So, so what's your thoughts on? Uh, do you have any? Did you get a chance to look through, or uh, do you have any opinion? Even though I'm putting you on the spot about Cryptic Collection too. I listened to it today, and uh, it's it's a fun compilation. It's a bunch of stuff that we already have, and some old stuff that, if you've heard it, you've already heard. Hell yeah! But I like Drunken Ninja Master. I like. Uh, it's just it's a it's a nice compilation. It and it brings back certain memories for me. I, like I couldn't find that CD anywhere until I went to college in Bowling Green, Ohio, and there was this cool record store that had like all the psychopathic stuff. Mm, hell yeah! Um, there in town, and uh, I ended up picking that up and uh, Blaze's first EP. 
So I don't know, it brings back that kind of memory that was like right before Hell's Pit came out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this was before Twisted had a thousand albums. Right. Yeah. You know? so, so it was yeah. cool to have. This is literally like, I mean, right after this is a year after Freak Show. So they would have had like four albums. Like, this is great. You know, this is a compilation of all the Twisted songs like this we was, had heard up to that point that weren't on one of their other two albums. This really. was in constant rotation back in the day. Oh, yeah. This because, album. Because of that, the, you know, the. The lack of albums. Yeah, yeah. Twisted was like at the top of their game, right? Like as far as like uh, doing what they did with Psychopathic. You know what I mean? Like they were fucking crushing it at this point. So uh, this album is. It's. It, I was listening to it today and it was fun. I had a great time listening. To it. I'm looking forward to talking about it here in a minute. Yeah. All right. Um, well, you got anything else? To sh- anyone you want to shout out or anything else you want to show or say before we let you go, bro? We don't want to keep you. Oh, shout out to everybody on the Discord. I hang out there too much. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Chuckles and uh, Little Ninja and Lotus and uh, oh, the whole crew, Nobody Man. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, prop, you know, props to all you guys for keeping that Discord alive, man. I, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, we got a nice little core group of uh, cool folks in there you know so anyone's welcome anyone's welcome to join but yeah man the the people that choose to stick around have all been cool as fuck i mean when i pop in there and start reading stuff it's <laughs> I, i'm you know i'm looking at shit for a while you know i'm looking at <laughs> shit for a couple hours like just amazed by what you guys put in there yeah that icp with we discord is popping too yeah, yeah. I, I did join that but it's, it's intimidating there's just so much happening over there ours is cut and dry yeah <laughs> That's how I feel. All right, man. Um, well, thanks for Are joining you, us. Did you talk about the 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 Mars uh, Red Lotus thing? Oh, we haven't. Right before the show, they were telling me. Um, I seen Beneath Dirt had posted about. it. I'm glad you brought it up. They somebody tweeted or posted on Mar one of Mars's posts. Like, hey, like you should fucking re-release. Uh, you should get with ICP and re-release the Red Dark Lotus. And he said, Yeah, have them hit me up. Tell them to hit me up. Really? Yeah. So Mars is on board. I, I did. Somebody did mention that he was getting out of the Christian game. So maybe he's down to fucking ride with ICP again, man. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Getting out yeah. of the Christian? How do you get out of the Christian? Yeah, no, he's he's <laughs> questioning now. He sounds like he's questioning certain things. Um, it's kind of funny. Wow. But he, like, he's almost like he's almost full fuck religion again, but no. from a, how, how do you, from like a Jesus perspective somehow. I don't. I don't know. understand Damn. how you go back and forth so easily. Hey man, man I, I would love to have, if it, if that's what it takes to get uh, Mars back in, in the lab with Violent J, man. Let's fucking do it. Fuck yeah. religion. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, dude. I would love to see that. <laughs> mm. All right, bro. Yep. I- I'm going to let you go. Um, All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks for joining us on such short notice, homeboy. We really appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate it, man. Thank you. Catch, catch you All next right. time, dude. Peace out. <laughs> there goes Valentine the Country Singer, my man. <laughs> <laughs>